Yeah. And let's talk about that transition. I mean, going from being a, you know, full-time athlete now and being a coach, um, talk about the role that coaching has played in your life. And what are some qualities that you think uh, coaches should have to be effective? Oh yeah. Ooh. Well, the coach thing, that's just, you know, it's a whole nother ball game, like yeah. playing and coaching completely two different worlds. Um, now you are having to um, fill tanks and inspire athletes to see the potential that you see in them. And that's hard. Um, it's almost easier when a coach puts in front of you the possibilities of like what could be possible. Um, but when you're having to show someone that it's a little bit more difficult. So um, I guess my biggest thing that I've learned from the transition is that um, you don't necessarily have to have all the answers. Like when I first became a coach, I was just like, okay, I know first and third situation you do, you know, you do this. And it's not so much about that. And it's more so the encouragement, the um, inspiring your athlete, athletes, motivating them. Um, it's not so much the X's and O's that's important. Yes. Teach the game, teach the fundamentals. Like those are all important. Um, but I think about the great coaches that, you know, we've had that I've had, like, it's not necessarily like how to hit an outside pitch. It's more right. so they made me feel like I can walk on water, run through brick walls. And so I think that's what's important when you make that transition that you don't have to have all the answers when it comes to the technical things. It's just making sure that athlete knows that you're, um, that you're in their corner.